Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. Adonis Stevenson gets dethroned by Alexander Vuzdik in the 11th round of their championship fight. Alexander Vuzdik is the new WBC 175 pound champion of the world. And Adonis Stevenson had to go to the hospital. He was in critical condition. Now he's in stable condition. Prayers go to him, his family, and everyone else involved. Hopefully he doesn't have any long-term medical ailments. And hopefully he has a speedy recovery. Now, actually getting to the fight, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Alexander Vuzdik had the good old Teddy Atlas in the corner giving him sound advice in between rounds and usually when Teddy Atlas is the trainer of a, of a fighter usually his fighters are pretty balanced throughout the course of the fight Teddy Atlas had Timothy Bradley he was pretty pretty balanced I thought he brought a different element to Timothy Bradley so it was good to see Teddy Atlas actually work in the corner for Alexander Vuzdik. Now, going into the fight, Vegas had Alexander Vuzdik minus 195. Minus 195, that's a big favorite. And they had Adonis Stevenson plus 150. They had Adonis Stevenson as the underdog. He was the WBC champ making his 10th defense of his title. He's had that belt for years and he was fighting at home. And Vegas still had Alexander Vuzdik a minus 195. And I'm like, yo, like, something's up. Like, something's up. They don't even sound right. Because I'm like, Adonis Stevenson got knockout power. Adonis Stevenson is the champion. Adonis Stevenson is fighting in his hometown. And Alexander Vuzdik hasn't fought anybody. Why is Alexander Vuzdik the favorite? This is why. Vegas was banking on Alexander Vuzdik finishing off what Badu Jack started. Badu Jack and Adonis Stevenson fought to a draw. All of Badu Jack's fights are, are, are draws. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He does nothing but draws. That's what he does. But some people had Badu Jack winning that fight. Some people had Adonis Stevenson winning that fight. Some people thought it was an actual draw. But the thing is, that fight was physically taxing on the body. So Vegas was banking on, the, on Adonis Stevenson being 41 years old, just coming off of a war against Badu Jack with no tune-up fight in between this one. They was banking on him getting old overnight and him getting taken out by Alexander Vuzdik. Now, this was the main reason why I felt like Adonis Stevenson should have been the favorite despite the age, despite the fact that he was in a war with Badu Jack. Adonis Stevenson was fighting at home. And when you're fighting on somebody else's home turf, it's just boxing. You have to pay attention to the judges and you have to pay attention to the scorecards. The scorecards read as follows at the end or during the 11th round. Well, before the 11th round. One judge had it 96-94, Adonis Stevenson. Second judge had it 95-95, even, through 10 rounds. But the judge that I want to get at is Mr. John Woodburn. 
John Woodburn had to fight 98 to 92 for Adonis Stevenson. 98, 92. And again, his name is John Woodburn. 98 to 92. They were setting up for Alexander Vuzdik to get robbed. They were setting it up for him to get robbed. Who would have known that when Alexander Vuzdik stopped Adonis Stevenson, he hit him with a clean, I would say, 10 to 12 shots within a 20 to 30 second period before Adonis Stevenson got put on his back. Who would have known that Alexander Vuzdik would have needed that knockout to possibly win the fight? John Woodburn, at the very least, should be investigated. At the very least, should be investigated. On the harsh end, he should be fired. He should be fired. And if you want to be nice, he should be demoted. He shouldn't be able to do anything any championship fights, any major championship fights. He has to work his way up because his performance as a judge was absolutely horrible. Horrible. There's no way Adonis Stevenson was up. 98-92. 98-92? Are you serious? 98-92. There's no way in hell Adonna Stevenson was up 98-92. I guarantee you Adonna Stevenson trainer wouldn't have told you it was 98-92. Adonna Stevenson, he'd have told you it was a close fight. Anybody with two eyes would have told you that was a close fight. I didn't think Adonna Stevenson was winning the fight, period. But if you had it 95-95, okay, fine. But 98-92, John Woodburn, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. I can see you being a little bit off, but you 98-92? What's that, eight rounds to two? <sighs> you got some explaining to do, man. I hope the WBC commission, I hope the... The Athletic Commission actually investigates John Woodburn because that scorecard makes absolutely no sense. And I call out judges and I call out scorecards no matter what the end result is. If it's a bad scorecard, it needs to be called out because these fighters are training their hardest. These fighters are risking their lives when they get into the ring. The last thing we need is for these guys to get robbed when it comes down to a guy obviously beating another guy. The judges don't have to take no punches. The judges ain't going they don't have to drain no weight. The judges don't have to do anything physical to get prepared for a fight. It's the judges' responsibility to use their boxing intelligence to properly score a fight. And there's no damn way that Adonis Stevenson was up 98 fucking 92. I'm going to be covering this topic more in terms of judges. I'm going to try to interview some judges. I want to actually find out what they go through during a fight and while they're scoring a fight. What can be done to improve our judges, our scoring system, and how can we get more accurate scorecards? I know judging a fight is subjective. I know there are five points of the criteria to judge a round on a 10-point must system. I know this. But there's some judges and there's some scorecards that are just ridiculous. It almost seemed like they just made up the scorecard prior to the fight. This is one of the main reasons why boxing is not really, really mainstream along with some of these other sports. 
Because we look at judges and their scorecards, situations where guys are going into other guys' hometowns, and we know that the judging is going to be an issue. It's something that needs to be changed. It's something that needs to be addressed. And we need to talk about it. And we're going to do that right here on G5 Jeff TV. But John Woodburn needs to be investigated or fired. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.